It's a new dawn in Ogoni land as various groups from the four Ogoni LGAs in River State are meeting in Bori, council headquarters of Kana LGA. In attendance are traditional rulers, elders, religious leaders and women groups among others. They say they are welcoming of the resumption of oil production in the region after a 30-year break. We are to resensitize the people, to be able to see the enormous wealth and potentials in their domain and see how we can use them to improve the quality of life. All I need to add here is to tell my people to stay away from self-centeredness. We are also willing to say the government takes 55% and the operator also takes 45%. The message here today is that the Ogoni people are ready as a people to partner with any of these expertise and engage governments so that development can come and those who will see there's some percentage of equity that we will use to train our children, we will use to give scholarship to our children, we will use to do good roads here. You can see no electricity. Others say while they are in support of the resumption in oil production, the communities must play a larger role in the value chain. We want oil resumption, but Ogoni people should take part of the economy of our own people. We need a new beginning that will touch the life of every member of Ogoni citizen. Both the women, both the youth, both the gear child, both the men, both the chiefs, everybody. According to the National Oil Spill Detection Response Agency, Nostra, there have been over 822 different oil spills between 2020 and 2021 in the region. And in 2021, a federal high court in Abuja ordered Shell to pay 45 billion naira to the people of Uguni as compensation for multiple oil spills. It, however, remains to be seen how this new development will play out in the region. Charles, Uproom, Channels Television News.